Recall that in a previous lecture we said that there is a relationship between loudness and intensity. So we define loudness as a sensation in the consciousness of a human being that is related to a measurable physical quantity known as intensity. So loudness is related to intensity. Now intensity itself is defined as the energy that a wave carries over some given period of time per some given unit area where the area is perpendicular to the flow of energy to the flow of our wave. So our intensity given by capital I has units of watts per meter squared. So power per the area. Now recall that intensity is directly correlated to the square of our amplitude where the amplitude is given by a capital A. So basically if we double the amplitude of our sound wave we quadruple the intensity of that same sound wave. So if we increase the intensity of the sound wave, we increase the loudness. If we decrease the intensity, we decrease the loudness of that sound wave. Now, the human ear is capable of detecting an extremely wide range of intensity values, beginning as low as 1 times 10 to negative 12 watts per meter squared and going as high as 1 watt per meter squared. Now, actually, the intensities can be even higher than this value, but if we go any higher, that will be extremely painful. Now, because of this extremely wide range of intensities of the human ear and because of the relationship between loudness and intensity, we define our sound intensity using a logarithmic scale and this is known as the sound level. So the sound level is given by the following equation where the sound level is given by this capital B. So the sound level is equal to 10 multiplied by the log of the ratio of the intensity I and intensity I naught. So the sound level is defined in terms of intensity of the sound wave. Now I is simply the intensity of some sound wave that we're examining and I naught is simply a reference intensity. Usually I naught is the minimum intensity audible to humans and it's given by this quantity 1 times 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared. Now, the unit of sound is given by a bell and one bell is equal to 10 decibels and this sound level B is given in decibels. So, note the following. If we're examining a certain sound wave and that specific sound wave has an intensity that is equal to the reference intensity. In other words, if I is equal to I naught, then the sound level is zero decibels and that's because 10 times log of 1 is 0 because log of 1 is 0. So let's examine the following example in which we're going to use this sound level equation. So on a busy street, a sound wave has a sound level of 60 decibels. Calculate the sound's wave's intensity using the sound level equation. So we want to use this equation and we want to solve, we want to rearrange this equation and solve for i. So if we solve for i, we get the following result i naught multiplied by 10 to the power of b divided by 10 where b is simply our sound level this product is equal to i so because we know what i naught is and because we know what our b is we can solve for our intensity of that sound wave intensity is equal to the product of 1 times 10 to negative 12 watts per meter squared this quantity multiplied by 10 to the 60 divided by 10. So 10 to the 6th power. And we get a value of 1 times 
10 to the negative 6 watts per meter squared is the intensity of this sound wave.